Democratic Congressman Jim Himes of Connecticut is a member of the Intelligence Committee, and he joins us this morning. Thank you, Congressman. We appreciate it. Good morning, Kristen. So let's start right there. Do you think that President Obama has the authority to launch airstrikes without congressional approval, or do you think that you deserve a vote? Um, I do not think, I do not agree with the White House that the uh, original authorization, which of course was uh, targeted at Al-Qaeda, gives him the authority uh, to, without congressional approval, uh, do what he has said he would like to do. Uh, look, I actually think there probably is not uh, consensus, but I suspect there is a strong majority in the Congress, at least for the concept of operating more aggressively in Iraq. Of course, Syria and arming the rebels there becomes a little more problematic, but um, there are uh, far larger principles. Than, uh, than simply this operation at stake here. Uh, do we, uh, as Americans, want to continue to cede war-making authority, which in the Constitution is very clearly placed in the hands of the representatives of the people, in the hands of one man? And look, I'm a Democrat. I support the president on most of what he does. But uh, you, you know, the the logic they are using to say that he can now essentially make a, 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 a you know undertake uh, hostilities using our troops is uh, a bit tortured and this is a moment for a debate in the United States Congress so that we go into this a heads up and b with some sense of consensus and congressman of course the other debate which is going to start taking place next week is about uh, arming and training those Syrian opposition forces uh, where do you stand on that because I know you've expressed a lot of concern about the fact that it's not clear uh, who those forces are who the good guys are who the bad guys are would you vote yes if that vote were held today well, uh, you've characterized that, that, that very well. And look, for background, I actually think that uh, what the president is calling for in Iraq and in Syria with respect to airstrikes and activities against uh, uh, ISIS makes sense. It's consistent with a pretty successful counterterrorism strategy, which, as the president says, we've employed in Yemen and Pakistan and elsewhere, uh, which, by the way, does not end terrorism, but certainly keeps them on their heels. But the question of whether we should spend $500 million to arm the so-called moderate rebels needs to be closely, closely examined. And you're right, I am a profound skeptic. I sit on the Intelligence Committee. In virtue of that, I've had an opportunity to get a little closer to these guys than, than most. And I will tell you um, that, uh, I mean, I, I think I couldn't have said it any better than you guys did when you showed the Syrian foreign minister encouraging American cooperation while warplanes, Syrian warplanes, were bombing the very people that we're talking about this morning. So uh, we've got some profound questions to answer about whether this is wise, whether this, in fact, ends up shoring up a and by the way, that may be a good thing or a bad thing, but let's not believe that, you know, uh, fighting in a three-way civil war is, is going to be anything uh, other than messy. And then, of course, there's real profound questions, you know, about vetting. You know, okay, a 19-year-old that grew up in some dusty village in Syria who now we have designated as moderate. You know, I was 19 once, too, and, uh, you know, I suspect that that moderate label uh, is highly influenced by who's got the money and who's got the momentum. And, and, and these are just things that we, as a Congress, must debate and be very, very skeptical about. All right, Congressman, very quickly before I let you go, because we're out of time, would you vote yes if that vote were held today? At this point, and, and you know, there's a lot of talk and a lot of debate to be happened, but at this point, I would, uh, I would likely vote no on the provision of $500 million to, uh, to arm uh, so-called moderate Syrian rebels. All right, Congressman Jim Himes, thank you for your time this morning. We really